welcome to in 5 minutes the agenda of this clip is to understand the concept of carry look ahead adder we have discussed the concept of bitwise group generate and propagate signal in the previous clips also we have discussed the concept of group wise generate and propagate let's see how this helps us in predicting the carry for a carry look ahead adder the name carry look ahead adder itself says that we can predict the carry or we can look ahead for the carry irrespective of my carry to that stage or irrespective of my carry to the entire block we'll understand this terms as we go ahead in this clip let's get started first with the basics which we have already done we will recap all of that and from there on we will understand the concept of cla okay so i have drawn quite a few things on the screen let's take each of them one by one and let's start filling up so here i am showing a one bit adder which has inputs a and b and has the c in coming in and i have assumed that my a is one and my b is one if my a is one and my b is one we all know that my generate signal will be equal to 1 because generate is high when a and b both are high when generate is high i don't need to wait for my c in my c out is high and at this point of time my propagate would be equal to 0 because propagate is high if my a is high or in simple words my propagate is high if my a and b are alternating so if there would have been a case where a is not equal to b means one of them would be a 1 and another one would be a 0 then my propagate would have been high and in that case my c out would be equal to c in so this is nothing but one bit which we have already seen in the previous clips let's go ahead and see a two bit block where my input is c0 this is my first block this is my second block so this is going to be my msb this is going to be my lsb inputs and carries are as mentioned let's see a few cases the first case says that a is high a2 is high and b2 is high that clearly says that g2 because both a and b are high so g2 is going to be 1 if g2 is 1 my c2 is equal to 1 and i don't have to wait for c1 however let's see another case if a2 and b2 are not same that means this both are not having the same polarity or the same value that means they are complementary to each other that clearly says that they are alternating when they are alternating and they are not equal to 1 g2 will be equal to 0 because they are alternating p2 will be equal to 1 because p is high when a and b alternate so bitwise propagate for second would be 1 and because the propagate is 1 c2 would be equal to c1 because we know that when propagate is equal to high c out is equal to c in here c out is c2 and c in is c1 so c2 equal to c1 at the same time so that means this guy is propagating the first case which we saw was this guy was generating and my output was equal to 1 the second case which we are looking at right now is this guy is propagating and the input conditions also says that a1 and b1 both are 1 when both of them are 1 that means my g is going to be 1 because the bitwise g is high when a and b both are high and because g1 is 1 c1 is going to be equal to 1 because it does not need to depend on c0 then my c1 is 1 and c2 is equal to c1 so my c2 is also equal to 1 there are two cases which we saw here one was my msb generating and other one was my msb propagating and my lsb generating this or this in either case my c out is going to be high so we just saw that g2 is to 1 or group generate for two blocks is nothing but if g2 is high that is second block has a generate high or if second block has a propagate high and the first block has its generate high then g2 is to 1 is high that clearly says that my c2 is equal to 1 now let's take another case as well this is for the propagate suppose my a and b are having opposite polarity a to b2 and so is the case with a1 b1 because they have opposite polarity we can easily say that individual a and b both alternate a2 and b2 that means propagate is going to be high a1 b1 also alternate so propagate is going to be high both are not one so generates are zeros so this guy is propagating and this guy is propagating that clearly says that my c2 will be equal to c in 
So the group propagate signal says that my MSB has to propagate and my LSB has to propagate. In that case, I can predict that my C out has to be equal to C in. So let's just write that P2 is to 1 is nothing but P2 and P1. So second bit propagating and first bit propagating. Cool. Now I think you've got the knack of it. Let's quickly do it for the three bit and then let's jump into Kaylook Adder. 